This video was going to be about this lamp which I had just made, which um, I, I made it more stylish than normal. But unfortunately I was using up um, leftover LED filaments and this particular one is duff. So um, it, it's intermittent and it, uh, when I tried wiggling it to make it work it, it just stopped completely. But this was a nice simple circuit. Um, I've used copper wire to support the um, components up. Two 47k resistors, a direct fire made of discrete diodes and then a nice support frame. So um, I've just ordered some more LEDs and uh, once they arrive I'll finish this. But in the meantime, this video is actually about this which is a small side light for vehicles and it came from Heaven DS and I just bought it to see what sort of quality it was, how waterproof it was and what the circuitry was like and I was kind of expecting the circuitry to just be some LEDs and a resistor and stick it across a generic 12 to 14 volt car supply and um, it just lights at a fixed intensity but it turns out that it's um, got a modest bit of circuitry in it because it is actually designed for truck use and uh, lorries or trucks in the UK and I suppose other parts of the world sometimes have a 12 volt system but more often um, I think they tend to go for the 24 volt system which is two 12 volt lead acid batteries connected in series just to get an extra beef for the starter motor. So I could see through the casing that um, it had an active component, what looked like a transistor, and a couple of resistors. So I prized it open, it did take quite a bit to open it. For the waterproofing, um, they've got, the first thing that happens is they, they've got these leads terminated. They get a sort of like a silicon goop on the back, a white silicon, and then it's pressed into place with the white silicon. And then from the other side, they fill it with a very hard um, black resin, this sort of potting compound, to make it completely waterproof at the back. And the lens itself is physically glued in. It's not got a rubber seal, it seems to be just glued and then pressed. And I have to say, it took a modest amount of pressure to get it apart, but it wasn't that hard to get apart. But it has taken a layer of the plastic off where it's glued on, so... It should be fairly robust and uh, waterproof, it should be okay. But uh, going to the circuit board, the cir component of the circuit board, it turns out, is an LM317 um, in T092 package, and that's an um, adjustable voltage regulator, but it also can, can be arranged as a current regulator. And the back of the circuit board is quite interesting because they've um, gone for the approach where instead of tracks, it's actually isolated zones between the copper. And that could be for two reasons. That could be for thermal dissipation, um, because it's quite common to actually just go for as much copper as possible. Um, but it could also be just a, an economy thing, because it means that when the pr printed circuit board gets processed, um, there's less etching because there's less copper to remove and it saves the processing chemicals. So, interestingly, uh, I'll draw this out as a schematic, in fact. Where's my notepad? There's my notepad. The way they're using the LM317, if we go from, it's the positive side, so if we go from the positive side uh, to the LM317, and they've got that marked as V for the voltage, I'm guessing. Um, and they've got it O and A on the circuit board. Now output, that's probably output, and that will be adjust. And if you connect a resistor between output and adjust, um, that turns it into current mode, and it's looking for a voltage of approximately 1.2 volts uh, across this resistor, and when the current reaches the threshold that the um, there's a differential between the output and the sense input of 1.2 volts, then it starts limiting the current. Then, if I recall correctly, it then goes through the LEDs. They could be put anywhere, really, in the circuit. You could move that anywhere in this circuit because it's just a series circuit. And then there's a resistor. Not sure why that resistor is there. Because I initially thought that resistor would be to help remove some of the dissipation from this component by just being a sort of modest value, say, say dissipating say dropping 3 volts or something at 12 volts um, just to 
just reduce the dissipation of that. But um, it's a really low value. Um, it is 36 ohms. And the programming resistor is 68 ohms. So if you do the maths, um, I equals V over R, so it's 1.2, I think it's actually 1.25, we've got the full 1.25, yeah, divided by 68 ohms equals 18 milliamps, and certainly when it's put on the, so it will, I'll just actually hook this up. So let's turn this on at 12 volts. And the current is shown as 17 milliamps. Yeah, that's reasonable enough. Now, this actually regulates quite well. It drops down to about 9 point, it starts dipping there. And the current just starts dropping at 9.5 volts. And from there it goes right up to the full 28 volts. Um, based on two, two car batteries in series, lead acid batteries, 13.8 volts each, so say 14 volts each, 28 volts total. And the current stays very consistent, it doesn't really change an awful lot. It, it seems to vary between about 17 to 19 milliamps. So, I thought, is that not going to be quite a high power dissipation from this component here? Because it's dropping the excess voltage, and if you consider, that say, let's go for 19 milliamps. And we'll find out what voltage we're going to drop across that resistor because at a fixed voltage, we're going to get a, a, a fixed uh, resistance we're going to, and current, we're going to get a fixed voltage. So uh, V equals IR, so that's 0 0.019 times 36 ohms. That seems really low, that can be right. 36 ohms times 0 0.019. Okay, so 0 0.7 volts. That seems low, but that must be right. Hold on a second, I'm just going to check that. Meter. All I have to do now is find where I've just put the module. There it is. So let's stick that on again. Let's bump the voltage up and uh, measure the voltage across that resistor. No, it is indeed correct. Uh, 0.65 volts, so about 0.7. Yep, okay. And the voltage across the LEDs at that, I can measure that across the back here. It's going to be about 6 volts. 6.18, so we'll say 6 volts. So that's 6 volts across the LEDs. And if you consider then that um, on the full 28 volts of a car, uh, of a lorry supply, that's going to be 28 volts, 28 minus 6.7 for the total of the um, LEDs and that resistor equals 21.3 volts to drop across the regulator. And if that's going to be um, at 19 milliamps, the power dissipation in that regulator is going to be um, 21.3 times 0 0.019 equals about 0 0.4 watts. And I I actually thought that's quite high for a TO92 package. I tend to try and keep them quite low, but a little bit of research online shows that those packages are rated up to about half a watt. Um, of, that'll um, depend on the ambient temperature. But um, certainly I, I left it on the full 28 volts and I've just felt the transistor ever so often, the should say the LM317. 
and um, it was body warm. It wasn't excessively hot. So it's an interesting, it's an, a neat enough little circuit board. I guess the two resistors, I guess the whole arrangement here, that technically speaking, if you put a small link across this, if it was just a 12 volt supply it was going to be run on, you could just use a couple of resistors or even a 24 volt supply. If it was just fixed voltage, you could just uh, get rid of the regulator and just stick a couple of fixed resistors in. So maybe that's why they're there. But um, other than that, I don't know why there's a... Is it in rush current while while that circuit stabilises? Maybe that's limiting? I'm not really sure. But it's interesting enough. It's a nice little light. Not that I've got much use for it, but it was quite fun to take to bits. Oh, you guys might notice um, the audio sounds maybe a bit louder. I'm not 100% sure. You can tell me what you think. But um, I'm using a different iPad because I've got a sneaky feeling that the other one does have audio issues. So you can let me know what you think of that.